the fuck was I talking about? You know that guy? Actually, I, I made, the, I made a bad move the other day. I asked, I called Bobby Kelly up, and I told him I needed a new printer. And you can't. Someone like me cannot talk to a guy like on Bobby Kelly's level of technology, okay? Because all of my shit is from like you know three presidents ago. All right, I don't like technology. Um, as far as I don't like new technology. Okay, I would be happy. I was happy where my life was in the eighties, and I didn't have a laptop or a cell phone. I was fine. I don't know about you guys, but I was eating three times a day. I had a roof over my head. You know? I had a carburetor. I had no fuel injection. And I, I, I was fine. My car couldn't talk to me. I didn't have any GPS. I, oh, I had a map. I sound like an old man here. But my life was fine. When I say I don't like technologies... For all the douchebags already firing off your email, really, would you like to go back to the caveman days? You know what I'm saying. Past a certain point, this shit hasn't been helping me. Okay? Right up to curing polio and penicillin, right there, we should have just walked away from the blackjack table. We should have left it at that. You know? And then all we would have had to have done is just dealt with the population problem in that you just keep it in check. Okay? You get one of these mathematical fucking nerds, God bless them, <laughs> and we just have a number that we, we will not go beyond. Okay? And, and you know, in, in, in a perfect world, um, everybody could join hands and we would all work together. And there would be no countries, but that's not the way it is. Because the sociopaths, power hungry sociopaths, and fucking religious psychopaths. Okay, if you could eliminate those two people, those two groups of people, you know, people who take the hocus pocus shit too seriously, and then those those fucking those those people who will do anything, will fucking do anything. You know, the only feeling they feel is the rush of, of putting their foot on somebody's neck. If you could just get rid of those two people, I was kidding. Who? We just look at us. Look at us on the internet. Look at the way we trash each other. Probably still wouldn't work, but whatever. This is my utopia. I think we should have tapped out somewhere around like um, I don't know. When did the first Atari come out? You got to have video games, right? Asteroids was great. And you guys, whatever. You get bored with it. But they come up with the new asteroids. Maybe the, maybe the, the, the ship would be shaped like a square. Maybe the rocks were like hexagons. No, rocks were hexagons. Well, you just make the, the, the spaceship the shape of the asteroids, and then the asteroids the shape of the spaceship. New spaceship-shaped asteroids. And we all, we all would have been excited, because we didn't know any better. Because we didn't know there was uh, battle, Battlefield Earth Part 4, whatever the fuck it's called. Whatever you video guys are doing there. I don't even know what I'm saying. So anyway, so Bobby tells me to get this fucking... I call up Bobby Kelly. Who? Bobby is like, you know, when I go to Bob's, Bob's apartment or whatever, it's like walking, in my world, it's like walking like nine years into the future. You know, remember when Yankee Stadium first came out and they were all arrogant going, we have 2013 technology in 2009. And when they said that shit... Which really was the dumbest thing ever. It's like, no, if you had, you have 2009 technology that is not going to be available to a nerd like me. Not a nerd, a loser like me until 2013. You're really just sort of rubbing it in my face. All right? Of course, all Yankee fans, they, they, they oh, they, they, they got technology from the future. Derek Cheater. All right? <laughs> oh, with your fucking Yankee jersey that you can't button anymore. Um. Anyways, what am I talking about here? Oh, so Bobby, yeah, Bobby's like nine years in the future compared to me. So he, he gets me this, I get this fucking, dead, it's fucking wireless, dude. Everything Bobby has has to be wireless, you know? It's fucking wireless, dude. I, I, I can I can drive in a cab, dude, and I just think of something. It's it's, it's wired into my brain, and it, 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 it prints it out, dude. Um, so I get this thing. Of course, 
this fucking goddamn thing, I've probably used it 20 times, 17 times I've had a fucking problem with it. One time for no reason, I would, I would hit print and it would go through the entire stack of paper that I had, printing nothing. Just printing ho ha he ha ho ha he ha ho ha, and I'm going, what the fuck's going on? Ah he ha ho ha he ha, right? And then finally, the last two pages, it would just print a bunch of code. And you know, I don't give a fuck. Just at some point in that five minute exercise, ho ha he ha, fucking print when I'm trying to print, never does it. So then I got to call Bobby up. Bob, this fucking printer sucked, dude. It doesn't suck, dude. Just What's just tell me what go into uh properties or whatever. Click on the Apple dude. And I'm on the phone for like forty five minutes. I like my old printer. It had a wire. It was tethered to reality. And I plugged it into my fucking laptop. You know? I like that real shit. And I'm like it's in the air, man. I don't know what's going on. I can't figure that shit out. So anyways. I don't know what the fuck I'm even talking about here. What, what am I really saying? Why can't stuff be easy? Why can't stuff... What I really want is for nothing to change so I don't have to learn anything new. I think that's what I'm really trying to say here.